Hi everyone! Today we're going to paint some of my favourite spring flowers, but this time in a loose watercolour style. So grab your paints and let's get started! Today I'm going to do a piece that covers most of a sheet of paper, so we're going to be moving around and picking up lots of different colours that are out of shot and things. Um, but we're going to paint in a nice loose watercolour style and just get some really um, lovely, simple spring flowers, some of which I've been painting in various other tutorials and some of which are brand new. So I'm going to begin with lavender. Now I've got this cobalt violet here, but I like a little bit of blue in my lavender. So I've got cobalt blue deep and cobalt violet. I'm just going to start off with my size 2 brush and I'm going to start one down here just a nice, simple beginning. With some nice long curved stems. And then picking up the bluey colour and I'm just going to extend it a little bit further. Because I like how the colours in the lavender really do bleed down into the stem. And then I'm just going to use the belly of my brush to create little flowering buds on this lavender and we want them to sort of look like they're clustered and then we'll have a few towards the bottom so this is just a really nice, simple approach for painting your botanicals. Perfect for um, bullet journal doodles. So I'm just sort of squishing the brush down and then getting the tip. And now I'm just going to come in with a little bit more blue. And just drop a little bit more in. And there we have a very simple lavender. Next it's time for a buttercup. Now we did a really nice sort of detailed buttercup painting a while back and you can go and enjoy that if you want. But now we're going to have a go at a loose version. So you can see I'm using my size 2 brush and um, I could use a thinner brush if I wanted for the stems and things but what I'm quite enjoying is with this loose style you just get a bit more of a characterful a feel. So what we're going to do is I've got some cadmium yellow here and I'm going to create the petals by just squishing the brush down and keeping some unpainted space. And I'm sort of quite happy if there's a bit of a, a bleed in there. And then I've just mixed some cadmium orange with the yellow. And I'm just going to do that. Some little dots will appear, some will get blended in. And we'll do one more. This one will be a little bit more sort of facing up so we'll angle our petals a little bit. So that means we just squish the ones on the top down. And there we have a lovely simple buttercup. However what you can do is get a little bit of the sap green And just come in there with a little bit of detail. It may be loose, but it can still be very beautiful. Next, one of my most popular flowers 
to paint to date is the crocus. So I'm just going to, in this really loose one, do two mirrored petals. And I think we'll do a, a lovely yellow one as well. That's literally as simple as it gets, isn't it? And then I've got some uh, sap green mixed in with my uh, green gold here. And I'm just going to allow that green to just touch the crocus petal. And look, it is so simple. It is just singular brush strokes creating lovely leaves and little stems of grass. And then if we want to get a little bit more detail in there, even in this loose style, we'll just get a little bit. See those wonderful little veins and a little bit of orange. And there we go, really, really simple loose crocuses. Next, our tulip, and I've got some permanent rose woken up here. And I've got my size four brush. And I'm gonna start with a fairly sort of dilute one. And we're gonna go really, really loose with this one, so I'm just gonna do a fairly sort of similar sort of belly of the brush approach to the, similar to the crocus. Leaving little bits of unpainted space and we'll have one more sort of poking out there. So these are really quite scribbled. I've done tulips before on here in, which were simple in themselves, but we're going for even looser approach. So this time I've got some nice green and I'm just going to just catching the edge of some of those. And we're just gonna let that dry one second and then I'm gonna come in and add a little bit more color to it. Now these tulips are dried, what is a really fun technique to get that same color again but in an even more concentrated manner. And then you can add another layer and give the sense that you've just sort of created a, a little look into the middle of that tulip. Or you can do it the opposite way by just dropping in some darker color like that and it looks like the outer petal is darker. Anyway, that's a fun way to do a tulip. Now we are on to the daffodil. So I'm gonna take a lovely bit of green gold and sap green mixed again for our stem. And we've already got our cadmium yellow ready in the palette, but I will just get a little bit more. And we've got our orangey color. So it's amazing how so many of these colors seem to repeat themselves with flowers from a similar season, isn't it? So we're going to begin with some lovely petals. So I'm gonna just come down here and we're just going to start by squishing the brush down. And I'm going to have my trumpet sort of coming out slightly to the side, like that. 
So we just let that dry a little bit and we can do our stem. In fact, I'll just move that fraction so I can get my hand in. I think we should pop in another uh, daffodil and we'll have this one sort of trumpeting off to the side. So always sort of thinking about that central trumpet where it's going to come out and then we can see that kind of angular neck and add in some more of these lovely long leaves. Now, if you are um, still struggling with getting nice, simple leaf shapes, um, you need to check out my new feature called the Watercolour Quick Fix, which is a really quick five minute video, which is gonna come out every Friday. And the one we've just done is all about how to get the right amount of water on your brush and on your page, which is also really relevant for this. But the one coming up next week is all about how to get really nice leaves every time. So check that out when you've got a second. So for the first one, I'm gonna just pop in some strokes just on the side like that. And then I will just dab that like that. And then for the one that's in here, it's just about dry enough. We'll do a little circle there and then just clean off the brush a little bit and just pop it down in there. So those are really lovely. So we've just got one flower left and this is a brand new one. We're going to do some forget-me-nots. Our last flower we're gonna do is a brand new one for this channel and that's Forget Me Knots. And we're gonna do a lovely loose style. I was trying out some different blues and I found that the Cobalt Blue Deep is the best for the nice cornflower blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin by painting some little petal shapes in a fairly loose manner and we're gonna leave some space in the middle. You may have noticed a tiny faint pink splosh. That was, we had a slightly wayward moment with the tulips, but it's all good. And then whilst painting those, I've got a little bit of uh, cadmium yellow here, which I just want to do a tiny circle, but I sort of want a tiny bit of blend, but I don't wanna sort of over mix it or touch it too much because these are complementary colours and these will definitely sort of muddy each other if they are at all kind of disturbed I suppose. So what I like to do is, is paint a few in and then pop in the yellow. But if your brush whilst you're doing the yellow gets too sort of tainted by the blue you need to really make sure that you've cleaned it off. So yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna fill up with a, a cluster of flowers and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start putting them together on a stem. Now that we have a sort of cluster of flowers, I'm getting my uh, green, gold and sap green mix and I am going to now sort of start joining them up and we can add in a few extra little branches And then I can sort of go back in 
retrospectively and just add a few little sort of unopened flowers that are just on their way. And then get a slightly larger brush and finish off that stem towards the bottom. And we can pop in some lovely leaves. So this is a little technique I'm doing of just picking up some of the excess water to get a nice smooth blend. So just to finish off, I can add in a little bit of shadow onto some of these, a little bit of detail. But on the whole, we've got ourselves a lovely set of loose watercolour flowers. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. And if you're starting out with loose watercolour, then I highly recommend going and having a look at our brand new feature, the Watercolour Quick Fix, a really simple five minute video targeting a really common watercolour problem every week. And the one just gone was how much water to use, which will be really helpful for this tutorial just gone. So let me know how you get on, hit the like button below and comment. And of course, if you subscribe, then you will never miss another video. Until next time, bye.